Okay, we're going to continue with trying to make the runner move. And um, it says we need to update a frame on every third tick of the clock. And we get to the 30th frame, we go back and start over. The frames are 60 pixels wide. Uh, make him run to the right edge and then turn around and go back. Um, he moves on every tick of the clock, so his speed is going to be 1. And uh, we're not going to worry about fractions here. We're going to make that a decimal, or uh, an integer rather. And also declare a variable that keeps track of the direction. So we've got a few variables we need to declare back here. So let's go back up to the top here. And uh, we need an int uh, runner speed. We need an int, uh, I'll call it runner direction. And we need an int um, ticks per frame three and um, that could actually be a constant because that's not going to change and um, let's see then we need to make him move uh, that's going to be in update here so in update let's do um, runner dot position plus equals runner dot speed speed times runner direction okay and runner position is a vector and on the right side here I've got just an integer so I need to do dot X and change that okay and now I think if I run it we'll actually see the guy running across the screen Oh, but we're not changing. He's just gliding across the screen. Okay, so um, what I need to do here is um, I'm going to need a variable up here. Uh, okay, an integer ticks till next frame. And we will initialize that up here. Ticks till next frame equals ticks per frame <coughs> so we'll set it equal to 3 and then every time we go through update down here um, what we need to do is we need to do ticks till next frame minus minus and if it's equal to 0 uh, then we have to do a couple of things um, <coughs> We have to go to the next cell. So all that involves is changing the runner source dot x equals, and I need to keep track of which frame number I'm on to. So let's go back up here and uh, start off with our current frame equal to zero. And so it's going to be, um, we need to increment the current frame. And we're okay unless unless we get to 30. Uh, if we're 30, uh, we've gone off the end. Uh, frames per cell. Do I have a? Uh, we will call total frames 30. Okay, so. If it's equal to total frames, then I've got off the end and I need to move back to zero. Okay? So, I go to the next frame, regardless of whether I went off the end or not, this has taken me to the next frame. So, I am now on the frame that I'm supposed to be on, and now I can uh, make sure that I actually grab that frame by changing the source so that's going to be uh, the current frame times frame width. Did I do a frame width variable? Um, I need a frame width of 60, and I didn't do that one either. Okay, so now let's go back down here. 
Okay, and that should update him. And uh, the other thing I need to do is uh, I need to set ticks till next frame equal to ticks per frame. Whoops. So now uh, that uh, puts that back at three. And so I'll go through this loop three times on the third time. Uh, ticks till next frame will be down to zero. And I will move to the next frame. I'll check to see if I've gone out the end. If I have, I'll bring it back and recycle. And then I figure out where I'm supposed to be. And I think this will get the guy running. Uh, however, he is going to run right off the right edge of the screen. <coughs> okay. And then when he gets to the right edge of the f screen, we want to turn him around instead of letting him keep running forever. So let's stop that. And, um, okay. So after we figure out his position, uh, let's check to see if he's gone off the edge. He is greater than or equal to uh, screen, uh, screen dot right minus uh, runner dot, uh, actually just frame width. That'll work. Uh, so, um, he's bumped into the edge, and if that's true, then we want to set uh, runner dot uh, effect equal to, uh, and then it is, uh, I can never remember how this works. Um, I will try flip horizontally if that doesn't work. Uh, then we'll go back and change it to vertically. And then when he gets to the other side, if runner dot position dot x is less than or equal to screen dot left, then runner dot position dot x equals screen dot left. Okay. So that should get him going back and forth uh, a lot. And just so I can test this a little faster here, I'm going to change his speed to 3. And then we'll run it. <coughs> well, that didn't work out too well, did it? Let's see what we did wrong. Let's go back here. And the runner position equals run. Okay, so that is updating him. We're updating the frame. Uh, so this stuff appears to be working. Uh, it is this. Uh, if runner position dot x is greater than or equal to oh, <laughs> I can't. Okay, I turn him around, so he's going to run backwards. But I also have to change his direction. Okay, so runner direction equals minus runner direction. Turn him around. And I do the same thing down here. Okay, now I think we'll get much better results. Well, I didn't turn him around. How can I get him going the other direction and not turn him around? And the answer is because I picked the wrong draw method. Uh, there is, I'm going to have to use number seven here, I think. Um, so, I forgot about needing one that needs the effect. So, I need runner dot texture comma, and, or was it six that we used? Okay, and then I need his uh, position, source, color, rotation is going to be zero, uh, the origin is going to be zero, so upper left corner, so Scale is going to be one and runner dot effects comma and we just do one there and now if we run it now the guy should actually turn around when he hits the right side. Uh, 
Okay, that looks a whole lot better. Let's see if he turns around on the other end. And guess what? If I flip him when he goes this direction, then I also have to... Okay. Okay, and actually I don't really need that line there, I don't think. Um, I didn't need it. I didn't need to set the X up here uh, because I changed the direction. So I probably don't need to change the X down here either. Um, but I do need to change the effect. Dot none. So he's back the way he was before. Okay, this is the last time. around turn around and he's gonna go back and forth forever okay so uh, that's probably a good place to stop before this video gets too long and we'll continue in the next video